Have you ever wondered if astronauts can grow their own food in space or even on other planets? Let's take a moment to ponder this possibility. Imagine a future where space travelers cultivate their own sustenance, a key to long-term missions and potential colonization. This concept, space farming, is not as far-fetched as it might seem. It's a fascinating journey that began with early experiments on the International Space Station. The quest to grow food in space dates back to the early experiments on the International Space Station. The International Space Station served as the first laboratory for space farming. Here, scientists embarked on a daring journey, attempting to coax life from seeds in an environment that was inherently hostile to it. The most pressing challenges they faced were the absence of gravity and the need for artificial light. Without gravity, water and nutrients couldn't flow downward naturally, and roots couldn't find their way. To overcome this, scientists used a system called aeroponics, where plant roots were misted with nutrient-rich water. Sunlight, the lifeblood of photosynthesis, was replaced with special LED lights, providing the exact spectrum of light required for plant growth. And against all odds, in the year 2015, astronauts tasted the success of their efforts in the form of red romaine lettuce. It was the first food grown and consumed in space, a humble leafy green paving the way for a future of space-bound harvests. These early experiments on the ISS were just the beginning, paving the way for more advanced space farming methods. Since those initial experiments, we've made significant strides in space farming. The advancements we've seen are nothing short of revolutionary. We've journeyed from the rudimentary beginnings of growing a single lettuce leaf to cultivating a variety of plants in the microgravity of space. One of the most significant advancements in space farming is the development of more efficient lighting systems. Scientists have fine-tuned the use of LED lights to provide the exact spectrum of light that plants need to grow. This innovation not only saves energy but also boosts plant growth and productivity. Another leap forward is the use of aeroponics. This method allows plants to grow in an air or mist environment without the use of soil. It's an ingenious solution to the problem of weight and mess in the zero-gravity environment of space. And let's not forget about the successful growth of other plants. Beyond lettuce, astronauts have managed to grow zinnias and mustard greens. Each new plant grown in space provides valuable insights into how different species adapt to the challenges of microgravity. These advancements are not just about feeding astronauts. They are about creating a sustainable life support system for long-term space missions. They are about the dream of colonizing other planets. As we continue to refine our methods, the dream of establishing agricultural systems on other planets comes closer to reality. Now, scientists are turning their sights to Mars, envisioning how a self-sustaining agricultural system could support a human colony. The Red Planet, our neighbor in the solar system, presents a unique set of challenges for agriculture. The environment is harsh, with freezing temperatures, thin atmosphere, and intense radiation. Water, a crucial element for life as we know it, is scarce. But these challenges are not insurmountable. Scientists are exploring the potential of Martian soil known as regolith, which could potentially be used to grow plants. Researchers have already successfully grown plants in simulated Martian soil on Earth, a promising step towards Martian agriculture. The key to sustaining life on Mars, however, may lie in closed-loop life support systems. These are systems that recycle waste and water, creating a self-sustaining environment similar to Earth's natural cycles. Imagine a Martian greenhouse where plants are grown hydroponically, with their roots in nutrient-rich water rather than soil. These plants not only provide food, but also help purify the air and water, creating a livable habitat for astronauts. While many challenges remain, the potential for farming on Mars is a tantalizing prospect that could revolutionize space travel. It's a vision that takes us one step closer to becoming an interplanetary species, and it's a journey we're just beginning to embark on. From the first lettuce grown on the ISS to the visions of farming on Mars, we've come a long way. We've delved into the challenges, the breakthroughs, and the bold visions that lie ahead. Space farming is not just about sustaining life in space, it's about pioneering a future where humans can thrive beyond our home planet. As we continue to push the boundaries of space farming, who knows what the future holds? Perhaps one day, we'll be enjoying a salad grown on Mars.